Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at whether you can game on the ASUS ZenBook UX 305 CA. This is the Core M3 6Y30 based laptop, um, and basically as a relatively low performance system, we're just trying out, starting off with some fairly casual games here, so The Sims 4, we're running this at 1366, 768, and the sort of medium detail settings and yeah the game like this pretty playable if you know it's a few years old and if you're a fan of the sims you should be able to play this on the laptop moving on to other casual titles we have rocket league here at 720p and performance presets and again okay frame rates on this not perfect we are dipping down in sort of the 40s and 50s but the game again still fairly playable so if you've got one of these laptops you want to play some rocket league you shouldn't really have any major issues with it. Another good choice as well is Hearthstone, um, the trading card online game. And again, this runs really nicely on it. Um, it's not a complex game. The fact frame rates aren't, you know, 60 frames a second really doesn't matter for a turn-based card game. So a really good option for a system such as this, as long as you have internet connectivity while you're out and about. The ever popular Minecraft also runs reasonably well and um, frame rates I found were quite variable in the original sort of Java version of the game. Um, so you can see here it varies between sort of 45 and 20 odd frames per second which isn't ideal but again playable and you could try mods such as Optifine to help try and improve performance with this. Um, having the 8 gigs of RAM does help and the fact it's 64 bit OS so it's better than sort of your Bay Trail or uh, Cherry Trail based Atom netbooks and then we're also trying some more sort of AAA titles we have here Dirt Rally at 1366 by 768 and the ultra low presets and while the game doesn't look spectacular in this mode you can see here actually frame rates pretty good we average sort of 50 frames per second and you can go through play the game on these settings reasonably well and um, there are a few minor rendering issues but for the most part they don't really affect gameplay uh, it's mostly just reflections on the bonnet which are causing problems in this title and then finally we're taking a look at a really big title Grand Theft Auto 5 we're playing this 800 by 600 and the absolute minimum detail settings and this kind of shows the limitations of a machine such as this um, even compared to sort of your 15 watt parts you can see here the game's really struggling um, it looks pretty poor uh, and also it's clearly struggling with sort of texture loading and everything else so you get bits of the world vanish performance is very poor so a game like Grand Theft Auto 5 on this kind of system is really going to be unplayable but anyway I hope it gives you a bit of an idea of the kinds of titles that it's suitable for playing on a machine such as this with the Core M3 chip and if you'd like to see more from us, we have individual gaming videos as well on the channel. So hit subscribe to see more or check out our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.